All right, welcome back to Breakfast Television Canada. And we've got this story coming out of Mexico mm -hmm. in Mexico City. Uh, we're all talking about, you know, we got to physically distance, right? So right. people are trying to go to restaurants and things like that. So how do you keep people from staying apart? Well, yes. this is what they're doing in Hasso. It's uh, located in the Palanco district in Mexico City. It's placing giant teddy bears <laughs> on its seats and outdoor tables to promote social Keep distancing. There you go. You have to stay one giant teddy bear apart from each other. And are they playing Teddy Bear Picnic, the song? Like, as we're going, it's a teddy bear picnic. You remember that? No. When you were a kid? What's no? Is from? it just me? I don't know what that's from. No one else. Teddy Bear <laughs> Picnic? Everybody's just, no, no one's just, just me. crickets Control around here right saying, now. Yeah. Uh, you know, like a kid's, kid's song. It's a teddy bear picnic. Um, that's <laughs> a little... Uh, I would rather an empty seat. I'd rather, like, caution tape than stare at the teddy bears for lunch or something. Isn't that a little scary to you? You don't like it? You know, I, don't, I don't mind that. I think I'd be worried about the food stains that happen on those That's teddy it. bears. Uh, Natasha, going to the patios. Have you hit a patio yet? Yeah, I've hit two. Uh -huh. I've hit two. Um, but but I have also walked by many that I wanted to go to, but I was like, oh, there's too many people there. No, keep walking. Right. So it has to already be empty. I don't care if they've already spaced the tables out six feet. Mm -hmm. I still need to see, like, some teddy bears or you still, some, yeah, you, some space. You still don't want it to be you know? that, that busy there. So, yeah, would you be okay with uh, – yeah. it's a table for three now. You and whoever you're with across from you and a teddy bear, like those giant yes. ones from the carnival in between? You know, my family, it's me and my kids, usually yeah. my two kids. There's three of us anyway, so I'd be happy to entertain the bear. Yeah, but I, I do worry about the bear stains, too. The yeah. bear stains, you're right. The bear if you're stains. having a little pasta or something. And, and are they cleaning the yeah. bear? Are they, like, spraying it down with, like, disinfectant spray or something? Because yes. the bear is going to be beside all of us. So you I don't know. want the bear to be the one yeah. that's spreading COVID-19. Like, that could be a problem. Uh, Mexico, in all seriousness, right. though, uh, they're running high right now. 385,000 cases, uh, 43,000 deaths, which is very scary uh, for them to deal with. So uh, they're doing what they can to promote. And this is one, like, I guess kind of cheeky way that that restaurant is doing it. You bring up a really good point, though, when mm -hmm. it comes to these plush animals. My son's currently in daycare, and they've taken taken out all of the plush animals, the right. stuffed toys, because it's something that you can't just quickly disinfect, like a wipe mm -hmm. down a clean surface. And so that's an interesting point. Right. Would you spray down the teddy bears? And they're not going to be looking so nice that's if they've it. been sprayed down so much. And you don't want a dirty teddy bear sitting <laughs> next to you. Nobody no? likes a dirty teddy bear. Uh, no. Natasha, what we do love is, I don't know where that, it's a new saying apparently. No, um, Natasha, what we do love is the Toronto Raptors and how they look. We got about 40 seconds. Uh, so what did you see this weekend in scrimmage? Because I know you watched as well. Uh, what did you see? What did you enjoy? Yes. What did you like? Um, oh, so I saw Friday night's game, yeah. right? I only caught a quarter three and four, but it was, I, I felt the energy was there. Uh, surge, like it's like he didn't lose yeah. anything. So I was very happy about that. And I thought it would be weird to watch with no crowd. Mm -hmm. For me as a viewer, I think the camera crew did a great job of just focusing on the game itself. Yeah. But I can imagine the players, it's difficult for them, right? They work off adrenaline from the crowd. And, and yeah. for the, yeah. that not being there, it would have been really hard for them. That's it. There's lots to discuss about for it. Sure. We'll continue to cover it as it goes. More PT Canada tomorrow. Have a great Monday, everybody. Have a great one. Take care.